Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner slammed the co-hosts of Tea He View after they mockingly suggested that Donald Trump probably had a secret grandchild that he ignored. RadarOnline.com has learned the View panel joked about the ex-president, following a New York Times op-ed that revealed President Joe Biden actually had seven grandchildren, not six as he claims. The piece detailed the non-existent relationship between Hunter Biden and his four-year-old daughter, Navy, who he shared with ex-fling London Roberts. While the ladies of The View were amused by their take on the first family having nothing to do with the toddler, Fokker didn't find the subject a laughing matter. The liberal media has long ignored this bad look for President Biden, but the topic went viral after the scathing New York Times op-ed. The Fox News host said it led with the headline, It has seven grandkids. Mr. President, and the PSD, IDNT sit so well with co-hosts of The View. Faulkner continued before she ripped into the daytime TV hosts. The Fox host then rolled a clip of The View co-host slamming up at author Maureen Dowd over her choice. Of topics the co-hosts agreed that Dowd should have found something else to write about. When you start talking about people as families, and what they re doing, I find it unnecessary, this is not anybody's business, nobody needed to know about this, this is, private. Ruby Goldberg said in the clip Alyssa Farah Griffin chimed in, I do feel like if it was Trump, we would talk about it. Is the thing if Trump had a grandkid, he doesn't acknowledge without missing a beat. Sarah Haynes took the opportunity to take a dig at Trump and joke. He probably does the clip cut to a wide-eyed Faulkner, who looked as if her own family was personally attacked by the television personalities wow. So classy on that show. It's amazing. Faulkner said sarcastically Faulkner's outnumber co-hosts also failed to conceal their reactions to the clip a puzzled what and a dramatic overheard in the background Faulkner added that even in shots of the audience, guests looked uncomfortable with bringing Trump into the conversation.